Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my January Ipsy and Boxy charm to share with y'all today. So I have opened these up. I've tried out the goodies inside, so I'll be able to give you some kind of mini reviews and first impressions on the products in here. So yeah, if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do unboxings, favorites, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about January Ipsy and BoxyCharm. So let's get to it. Okay, so starting with my Ipsy bag. Look how cute. That's adorable. So I got several things in here. Oh, I realized I forgot to use this. I meant to use this this morning. So let's just test it together right now. It's a lotion and I'm terrible about remembering to use lotion and looking at my dry hand definitely says I need to use it more. This is by Lauren's and this is the Vanilla Almond Body Lotion. I am getting over being sick so my sense of smell is all off so this is not going to be very helpful. Oh, I can kind of smell it still. I love vanilla and almond. Like that's one of my favorite scents. So yeah, it seems like a rich emollient sort of body lotion. So there you go. There's that first impression. I like this. Seems nice. Okay. I tried both of these last night. Um, the first aid beauty deep cleanser says helps remove excess oil and unclog pores. So I just kind of used this in this area of my face and I liked it. A little bit went a long way with it. Like I used too much, um, but it really like um, just went a long way. I was going to say sud stuff, but kind of, but it's sort of more on the gel side, um, but it just went a long way. Like I could tell that, you know, a little bit of product goes a long way and it did seem to deep clean my face. My face didn't feel stripped or overly dry or anything. I like First Aid Beauty, so this seems like a nice product. I like it as a first impression. This is by Verify. This is the 2020 Eye Cream. Um, I liked this. I used it underneath my eyes last night and seemed to do a good job. I always say this, skincare, it's just a first impression because, you know, you got to use it for longer um, to really know, unless it's maybe like a mask or something or maybe like an acne treatment. I don't know, like a spot treatment or something, but most of the time, Skincare, you want to try it for longer. But yeah, first impression, that seems nice. I got an eyeliner. This is from YC Collection, I think. And I got a purpley sort of color. So I have this on my lids right now. And it's a beautiful kind of like metallic-y purple. Ooh, I feel like it's not swatching well at all there. Looks kind of patchy, but it didn't apply that way. Like it really applied very nicely didn't drag on my eyes. Seems like a nice formula that seems to just kind of smoothly apply to the eyes. I love that color. It's a beautiful, just kind of metallic sort of light to medium purple. Beautiful. I guess it does. I mean, it looks a little patchy, but not on my eyes. I really like this. And it does have a little smudger on the other side. I didn't use the smudger. Um, I just applied it and it applied nicely. Pretty color. So yeah. And then last thing in here, I got a little eyeshadow palette. This is from, it says Daydreams. Lucky Chick eyeshadow palette by Lucky Chick. And I do have this on my eyes right now. This is cute. Like I like the packaging. I like the size of it. Here is the palette. Let's do some super quick swatches. I have this one on my lids and this one in my crease and applied very nicely, like blended nicely. I have this one in my outer corner. Let's look at the Pretty glitter. I should have used the glitter today and I didn't, but that's beautiful. I have a little bit of this in my outer corner. And then last three, these have a nice kind of silky formula, but pigmented, like the pigmented kind of a silky. Very pretty. And I am not wearing any of these, but kind of like taupey sort of colors. This one's a really pretty sort of um, duochromy light purple. And I have a Chester hair stuck underneath my ring. <laughs> wow, and I am trying to remove this swatch of this eyeliner and I'm using like a cleansing water and I'm really having to scrub. So that definitely seems like a nice long wearing liner. So yeah, I mean, overall, I like everything in here. I would say favorite, probably the eyeshadow palette just because I get so excited about the eyeshadow palettes and any kind of palettes I'm excited about. So overall, that seems very nice. And then 
my BoxyCharm by Ipsy. I got some skincare goodies in here. First off, I got the Feel Squalene Facial Oil. This is beautiful packaging. I love this kind of metallic blue. That's beautiful. So I used this last night, kind of this area of my face. My face, I'm more like combo oily. Like I'm definitely more oily in my T-zone, especially on my forehead. But my cheeks are more kind of normal. So I use more hydrating products there. It's a thinner sort of an oil. And first impression, I liked it. Again, my sense of smell is off, so I really can't tell you about like scent on it, like how it smells. I don't really know. But first impression of it, I like it. It seems like a nice oil. And I do really like squalene, and I really like facial oils. Like I use oils pretty regularly, and squalene is definitely one of my go-to skincare ingredients that I like to use. Then I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. This is what the outside box looks like, so pretty. I really like the Watermelon Glow and I love niacinamide. So I was excited to try this. So I did put this on this morning under my makeup. If you like a glowy sunscreen, I think you will really like this. This has quite a bit of glow to it. Um, but like when I first applied it, I was like, ooh, this is, this is quite glowy for me personally. But after I had my makeup on, I really like it. I mean, my makeup went over it really nicely. So even me that I usually don't love a super glowy kind of product under my makeup, um, I still really like this. So even if you're more like me, you might like this. If you like glowy, I think you'll definitely like this though. It's really pretty. Has that just nice glow to the skin, that kind of healthy look to the skin. Then I got a primer. And I use this on a section of my face. This is by Farah, and this is the Smooth Focus Face Primer. Does it say anything about it? Um, picture perfect airbrushed appearance. Helps your makeup stay fresh and radiant. Lightweight and silky face primer formula. Skin nourishing ingredients, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Ooh, I love both of those ingredients. Yeah. So I put this kind of in this area of my face just because I like to sort of compare. And at first I was like, I don't know if I can tell a difference. And I'm not a huge face primer person. Like I, I don't use them regularly. I don't usually feel like I can see a huge difference when I do use them. But after I kind of sat on my skin, I really liked it. And it also kind of um, mixed nicely with the SPF. I don't even know if you can tell there. You can tell where I was scrubbing off that eyeliner. Um, it's almost like it kind of softened the glow to make it less kind of shiny and more just a little bit of like a, a very soft sheen on my skin. I don't even know how to describe that. So I ended up really liking this because it had this sort of smoothing and prepping look on the skin and my makeup applied really nicely over it. So yeah, I'm actually a big fan of this. Like. I do think I could tell the difference. So this seems very nice. Then I got a mascara. This is by LYS Beauty. And it's the Lash Confidence. It says Curl, Length, Volume, Clean Mascara. And this is in the shade Influential, which is black. So I have this on my lashes right now. I'm very picky about mascara. I feel like mascara is so personal preference about like, you know, what are your lashes like? Um, what are you looking for in a mascara? How many coats do you like to apply with mascara? You know, all those factors kind of play into if you like mascara or not. It makes it very personal preference. So, I like this pretty well. This is the wand on it. And I really like a lot of volume, a lot of length, um, but mainly that kind of fluttery volume with mascara. And I apply a lot of coats. So, I like it to be able to build on itself. A lot of times I'm pushing a mascara past what it probably is intended and formulated to do, but I really like this. It seems kind of like a thicker sort of a formula, but it did build on itself pretty nicely. Gave some good volume, um, pretty good length, but I would say mainly volume. I do wish it was maybe like a step up in the volume and the length and the Vavoom look. Um, but overall, I think it did a pretty good job. So I do actually really like this. I'm, as far as like how picky I am with mascaras, I do like this. Then last up, I got the 
Seraphine Botanicals Geranium and Glow Blush and Highlight Palette. This is such cute packaging. That's adorable. So I have this on right now on my cheeks and this is beautiful. I would say this is my favorite thing in the box because it's just, the packaging is gorgeous and this is so pretty on the skin. So I first applied the blush, this one right here, and then I applied a little bit of this over the top. So kind of a mixture of these two, that color right there. So cute. It's like the cutest pink. It's beautiful. And overall just kind of like a really nice matte finish. Um, maybe kind of like satin. It has like a little bit of a, it doesn't look flat matte. I'm actually not wearing this one today, but I do have the highlighter on. So there are those beautiful so pretty they applied really nicely they weren't patchy at all they blended really well Ooh, i should have used that pinky highlighter i guess it's kind of more peachy that's beautiful so pretty so yeah i'm a big fan of this palette very nice formula very blendable really a beautiful color story huge fan. This is definitely my favorite thing in the box. Okay, so that's everything I got in my uh, BoxyCharm by Ipsy. Like I said, this is my favorite thing I would say, but really, I mean, overall, I'm impressed with everything in here. I mean, I, I like everything. So yeah, hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. If you subscribe, I would love to know what you are excited to get or what you are excited that you did get. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!